everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, folks, so I'm back to do another little micro 4K review of this release. I got it through the door a couple of days ago. I was pleasantly surprised by it, and I felt it was only right to stop by and share it with you. Of course, the movie is The Haunting. And this is a Scream Factory title. Now, it's not a collector's edition, so that means no slipcover, unfortunately. Now, if you're not particularly aware of uh, the movie The Haunting... Uh, the premise of it is, it's a, this group of insomniacs that are brought to this house, uh, Hill House. It's almost like a group study. They're brought here to try and figure out what's wrong with them and why they can't sleep. But when they get there, they quickly realise that the house is being haunted by its previous owner, Hugh Crane. No, not Ukraine. Hugh Crane. Hugh Crane. You know something, the more I'm going to say that name, it's going to sound like Ukraine. But it's Hugh Crane. Hugh Crane. Oh my god. Move on. <laughs> Um, anyone that's going into this now thinking that you're going to see like a real kind of scare fest of a movie or even a gore fest for that matter, it, that's not what The Haunting is. The Haunting is a visual treat. The house is the main star of this movie and some of the set production design you're going to see behind this is absolutely astonishing and it's one of the reasons to why you would want to stop by and check this one out. Now it is directed by Yann de Bont and he is a very capable director and he has a very decent cast he assembled for this movie. you got the likes of Liam Neeson, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson, Lily Taylor. He even got Bruce Dern in there. It's not a big role by Bruce but uh, he is in the movie. And for the most part the characters are quite likeable. Even though it's not the best acting you're ever likely to see from these there's enough there to carry you through the movie, along with its story. It's one of those stories that there's a, an element of mystery to it. And it kind of grabs hold of you and it keeps you guessing right till the end. I had a wonderful time with this. I really enjoyed it. I always, I fell in love with it the first time I seen it in the cinema. It was a very different type of haunting movie. Uh, I took it for what it was, which is, like I said, a visual showcase. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I do recommend checking it out. But just bear in mind, like I said... Don't be expecting to see a movie that's going to scare the living shit or you something like The Conjuring. It's not The Haunting. And there is absolutely no blood whatsoever in this movie. I don't think there is. Now that I think... No, is there? No, there's no blood in this movie. But there is one scene that's quite brutal. Now, I'm not going to say anything. If you've seen the movie, I'm sure you know the scene that I'm talking about. Now, in terms of special features when it comes to this release, it is by no means jam-packed. you got an interview with Yann de Bont and you've got, also got one featurette. I think the featurette is around 26 minutes long and the interview with Yann, Yann de Bont is around 9 minutes, so not many spe special features. Having said that, I don't think I actually owned a release of The Haunting with any kind of special features, so look, I'll take it. Right, so I'm going to just quickly take you around this release, just give you an idea of what it looks like, and then I'm going to come back and review its 4K picture. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, The Haunting. So as you can tell, it is the artwork that we all know for the movie itself. you got three characters there on top, Liam Neeson, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Lily, Lily Taylor. For some strange reason, they couldn't be bothered to put Owen Wilson onto it. And then of course, you got the house itself, and as you can see... Uh, it is looking quite creepy and down the bottom some houses are born bad and it is a 4k and blu-ray release as well so that is uh, the main artwork uh, I'll take us then onto the spine of this one it is such a shame that we didn't get a slip cover with it and uh, this is the back of it and I can tell you now there's no reversible uh, reversible artwork on this as well you know which is a bit of a shame but uh, you got it right up of the movie of course you got the special features in the middle and the technical aspects down the bottom and then i'm going to quickly open it up for you and you've got your blu-ray on the left your 4k on the right and as you can see a uh, different disc artwork so there you have it folks a very quick look at this release of the haunting Right, so on to the 4K transfer, and like I said at the start of this video, I was pleasantly surprised by this one. Now, bear in mind, folks, uh, the Blu-ray that I have, I think it's like an Australian release. Now, there is a Paramount Presents edition that you can get on Blu-ray, and that was based on a 4K scan. And apparently, from what I've been reading, that Blu-ray looks absolutely astonishing. And when you stack that Blu-ray up against the 4K, it's not what you call a night and day difference. There is an upgrade. But the Blu-ray for that Paramount Presents just looks that good that it would be very hard to recommend the 4K release. But like I said, 
I don't have the Paramount one. And when you stack the, this 4K release up the, against the Blu-ray that I have, there is quite a substantial difference. I was so, like I said, pleasantly surprised by it. Now, I said at the start of this video that the house is the star of the show, and when you see it in glorious 4K, your jaw is simply going to drop. And I would nearly go as far as to say there are scenes in this that is actually demo-worthy. One scene sticks out for particular for me is when Lily Taylor drives up to the house for the first time, when you see the house. There is just so much more detail that you can see now than you ever did on the Blu-ray that I have. Even the gates to the, to the house. You can make out every little bit of rust and, you know, dents and, you know, grease and... Yeah, there's just a lot to be seen. But it is when it goes inside the house, like I said, you're going to be seeing quite an uptick here in picture quality. There's just, in terms of the textures that you see, it is just absolutely astonishing. Uh, facial tones look very healthy. There's quite a lot of detail to be seen there as well. The Dolby Vision colours do breed new life into this. Uh, I had such a fun time watching this. It was one of those 4K transfers where it felt like you were watching the movie for the first time. It's a real gift. It really is. And Dolby Vision plays a huge role in that. There is just so much more colour now to it that you can just massively appreciate. Black levels are bold. They are deep as you come to expect, particularly for a movie like The Haunting. And shadow detail, that increased shadow detail. It's that kind of shadow detail where you can still make out detail but not enough, It's a lot of it is hidden as well, you know what I mean? They don't want to show too much. It's a fantastic looking 4K transfer, folks. And if you are a fan of this movie and you don't have the Paramount Presents Blu-ray, I definitely recommend checking this out. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by it. Now, it also comes with a DTS 5.1 audio. And I have to tell you, it's one of those audios that makes you question Dolby Atmos. That's how impressive it is. It is so immersive. And that's exactly what you want when it comes to a movie like The Haunting. Now, bear in mind, folks, the sound system that I have in this room, there is a surround function on it. And when you knock it on, that means every speaker is activated, even your higher channels. And there is one scene that stood out for me. It is the scene where uh, Lily Taylor, I think she throws like a music box through the window. Hugh Crane's face started appearing on the window. And when you hear the thump of bass when the, uh, the window comes back on Lily Taylor, that was quite brilliant. But she actually runs out of the room. And right above her, you can actually hear Hugh Crane chasing her. You can hear each one of his footsteps. And each footstep, footstep packs this huge wallop of bass. But because I had my surround function on, all those footsteps were coming up above me. And it is quite frightening. It is. It's very convincing to actually hear that much bass coming from above you. Uh, it really elevated that scene. I was so incredibly impressed by it. But not only that, but when you see this movie itself, there's so many of these, <laughs> there's these huge doors. And every time somebody closes the door, you can actually hear the house just, it sounds like the house is moaning. And it is coming out of every single speaker. But it is the bass that's going to really sell you and the audio in this one. There is just so many moments where the bass is actually demo worthy. And if you're into your big hidden bass movies, I cannot think of a better movie than The Haunting. So there you have it folks, that is my review of The Haunting and as you can tell by the video I was very happy with the outcome here. Fantastic picture quality, absolutely astonishing sound and if you're a huge fan of this movie I definitely recommend you check it out. So there you have it folks, so as per usual if you did like what you see here please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on the movie itself. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.